Hello families and welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be covering topic 4-5 which is breaking apart numbers and adding using mental math. So this one is one of the ones where we start doing a little bit of funky stuff. So uh, this one can be a little bit confusing for students but again we want to teach as many different ways to to add as we can so that students can use the best one that works for them. So essentially, we're still going to be using that place value. We're going to be using place value a lot. Um, but what we want to do here is show you that one way to add two digit numbers is to break apart just one add end into tens and ones, add the tens and ones to the other add end, and then add the ones. So I'm going to show you exactly what that means. So when we talk about breaking apart a number, we always want to um, break apart the add end first. So the add end is, what is whatever is being added. So 27, the number we have is 27. What is being added to 27 is 35. So 35 is going to be our add end. So what we're going to do is we're going to break apart 35. And to break that apart, we know again from the place value that we've been talking about in the previous videos that the number 35 uh, is comprised of three tens and five ones, or 30 plus five. So we're going to do that and break it apart. So 35 again is 30 and five. So again, we're only focusing on breaking apart our add-end, not the first number, just our add-end. So what we're going to do here is we are going to bring this number down, and we are going to add it to our 30. So we're going to add these two numbers together, 30 plus 27. Again, at this point, we're trying to get students to be familiar with mental math. Uh, we know that 30 plus 20 is going to be 50, and then we should be able to add the 7 in our head. So that's what we're trying to get at here. So 30 plus 27 is 57. Okay. Now what they want us to do is further break apart this number. This number can be broken apart because we're trying to make tens here. So again, we have our 30, which is a 10. This is not yet a 10. So we're going to break this apart to see if there's something we can add to this number to make it a 10. In fact, if we decompose this number or break it apart to 3 and 2, because 3 plus 2 is 5, we would then have that 3 that we can add to our 57 to make 60. Okay, now we still have this guy over here left. He's all by himself, so we need to bring him down to join the party. And we're going to put a plus sign there so we know that we're adding that to our 2. So we have the number 60 plus 2, and we're going to end up with a final answer of 62. So 6, 27 plus 35 is 62. Alrighty, let's go ahead and look at another one. I'm going to go ahead and erase this one. Go ahead and, and watch it as many times as you need to to understand. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and look at yet another problem. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this one. Okay. Blue coffee wasn't it. Alrighty. So we are going to write another problem. We are going to look at... 17 plus 52. 17 plus 52. All right, again here our goal is to break down our, our number uh, into a 10 and then use that 10 to help us add the other um, number to it. So again, our 52 is our add end because it is what is being added to another number. So we are going to break apart our 52 to make a 10. And the number 52, we know that it has five tens and two ones. Five tens equals 50 and two ones equals two. So we have 52 because if we add these two numbers together, we're going to get our 52. We are going to again bring that 17 down. And now we have 50 plus 17. And again, they want us to focus on having students be familiar with mental math at this point. So 50 plus 17 is going to give us 67. Now, our 2 is broken apart pretty small. We don't need to break this apart any further like we did in the other video or the other um, problem where we broke apart our 5 with a 3 and a 2. This is pretty small, so we don't need to do uh, any breaking apart for this one. So I'm just going to bring that down and put a plus sign there so I know that I'm adding my 67 plus my 2. So 67 plus 2 is going to give us 69. So our final answer, 
17 plus 52 is going to be 69. Again, I know this may be a little strange, but we're really trying to hold in on that place value. Um, it's much easier, the idea behind this is it's much easier to um, add things in smaller chunks than trying to do the bigger numbers all at once in your head. It alleviates mistakes. Um, it gives you that visual that you need, and you can easily go back in and see where you made a mistake if you do it this way, because you're separating it into smaller chunks and smaller pieces. So again, if you have any questions about anything that I just did here, make sure you message me on Dojo. I will be more than happy to answer your questions. Make sure you check that bottom bar for any information that I'm leaving below this video. And also, please make sure you subscribe so that you never miss an upload and that you get to watch all these videos that I'm trying to make for you guys. I'm trying my hardest to keep up with what we're doing in class. So just bear with me. Um, make sure... Um, you give us a thumbs up too. That helps the channel, helps me know that I'm doing a good job um, and leave any suggestions again on Dojo or send me a message on Dojo about anything you want me to cover that I haven't covered already. Alrighty, I don't want to keep talking too much because I'll sit here and talk you to death, but I hope you have a good night and I will see you in the next video. Bye.